the two things I think I always think about Ace that he does really well is um, he's one of the best dialogue guys out there right now. He, um, anytime his characters talk, they just feel real. And that also kind of goes into the other thing that he's incredibly talented at. Whether he's doing this new series, where he's, where he's writing his Nick Travers series, which goes into the history of blues, or the four historical crime fiction pieces he's done. There is nobody that I can think of in this genre right now that just knows how to put you in what, whatever world he creates. And the new world he's created in The Ranger is really fun. It's realistic in many ways, but it's also kind of like... For those of us that know Ace, if you take everything Ace loves, every pop culture thing, every kind of music, every kind of movie, and put it in a blender, you basically have that with The Ranger, which is just a fantastic kick-ass novel. It's, um, if you haven't read Boom, We Lost an Arm, and just kind of his buddy, you know, has his back in the books, is t Boom talks about how much he misses being in Iraq, because he's in Iraq, yeah, he was exactly. in Iraq, yeah, yeah. and how, like, there's nothing, you know, how he hasn't quite adjusted to what's going on. And I think that's one thing that we're reading about constantly, that's one thing that I, you know, that's the thing that is kind of interesting to me as far as being a writer is, you know, a book doesn't have to be one thing I can, I can have fun with, you know, kind of having an homage to 1970s action films, but at the same time, you know, there's a little bit of William Faulkner thrown in because I'm writing in William Faulkner's territory, and that's why I live in Oxford, Mississippi. But also being able to address certain issues, a book can be a lot of fun, but I think, uh, you know, sometimes books that are very readable and a lot of fun, uh, you can get a lot of social commentary in as well, and that's not heavy-handed. Uh, somebody like Carl Heiss, I don't bring to mind something like that, but I did want to write about the veterans returning home right now, and as with every war, there always seems to be veteran issues uh, that, it, that are not being addressed. You, you can't look at the newspaper right now without saying um, veterans not getting addressed uh, for post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, you saw all the stuff that shook out of Walter Reed, where, where veterans were getting just horrific care once they came up in the front. And that's this character, Boom, who was Quinn Wilson's best friend in high school, lost an arm. And he was working, uh, he was with the National Guard out of Mississippi and now he's come home and he's injured, he's got to come back and fit into a you know, so-called normal life. And but it's it's a very not a very easy adjustment period for many of us. It kinda of makes a song. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Life is hard, streets are mean. No be so fierce as a human being. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows the shape I'm in. Crazy as an elephant in a bath of a chin. Habits deep in a mile wide. So cold out there, devil's thumb to ride. In a pinstripe suit, his beard was frozen, just drive, he said, I know where you're going. Life is a gamble, can't seem to win, nobody knows the shape I'm in. They come looking, I can't be found, I'm on the wind, I'm underground, they come looking, I can't be found, six feet underground. 